So in this episode of Tasmoto Tips, we're gonna show you how to take a dimmer and control your smart lights. We did it with a switch, but now we wanna do it with a dimmer and we're still gonna to stick to our guns of never removing functionality while adding functionality. Which means controlling all of your smart bulbs and being able to retain the usage of colors and brightness and various other features of a smart light bulb, but still control it from the wall. That way you're not retraining any of your family, including yourself. So we're going to be using the Martin Jerry dimmer, but of course you can use various other dimmers with Tasmoda. You can see here, we're going to turn the brightness up and turn it down. And as a bonus with the Martin Jerry dimmer, we're going to show you how to do a long press and switch to cool white and still be able to turn the brightness up and down, or you can switch back to warm white using the long press options on the Martin Jerry dimmer. So we'll leave the links down below to the various timestamps and you can just skip to whatever the various parts you want. But if not, watch the whole video. Maybe you'll learn something as well or spawn some ideas. So let's get to it. So for this project, you're gonna need a dimmer. Now we're gonna be using the Martin Jerry dimmer because we can control what all three buttons do, which a bonus at the end of the video, we're gonna show you a special little trick we can do with the long press options on the dimmer. Now, of course, you can use other dimmers, you just won't be able to, to do the long press options because typically they use a Tuya MCU. And of course, we're gonna need at least one smart bulb and all of this is flashed with Tasmoda. And if you haven't flashed your stuff with Tasmoda, definitely check out the Tuya convert process. It's a pretty cool process, brings everything local control and allows you to do all the cool things that we're gonna show you in this video. And of course, we will leave the link down in the description of the video for the products that we've used and the video links to do your to you convert. Now for the wiring, I will have the output or the load wire on the dimmer is actually gonna be capped because we just don't want any accidents of accidentally dimming our smart bulbs. Now, if you do have multiple smart bulbs, you can use more than one, and we'll show you how to use that in a group topic. So, of course, if you want your ultimate control over things, you're going to make your own PCBs and use PCB Way. Have you ever thought about making your own PCBs? Definitely check out PCB Way. They got tons of different specials and coupons running this month. So, check them out straight to your door. High quality boards, PCB Way. So for the wiring on this, you know, you've done a typical wiring situation where the hot comes in, goes to the smart switch, and it breaks it to control the light bulb. Now in this example, of course, we are going to be using a smart bulb, and we are going to be using a dimmer. So we don't want any accidents of accidentally dimming anything. So I'm going to bypass the hot wire. That way, the smart bulbs stay powered all the time. So you can leave yours going through the dimmer if you know what you're doing on the actual dimmer itself. But for this example, like we've mentioned, we are gonna bypass it, but please do check with your local code. You don't wanna do any kind of violation of local code with the electrical wiring this way. Typically you'll have the hotline that comes into the actual switch, and then you'd have it come back out and go to the light bulb. What you'll want to do is actually cap the line that would typically go out to the light bulb. That way it doesn't short anything inside the box. And the line that is actually going to the light bulb, you'll put it in the same wire nut that actually goes into the dimmer. And that way the dimmer is powered all the time as well as the light bulb itself. And again, it basically becomes a Wi-Fi button of sorts, and that way we will send over the commands for the on and off and dimming straight from the dimmer, and that way you can have the best of both worlds of have dimming and control from the wall switch of turning the light bulb brightness up and down. So once you got the wiring covered, let's go check out the Tasmodo commands. So of course we're using the Martin Jerry dimmer, and we have it set up using my fork as well as the rules that control the up and down buttons. So of course, as you can see, we have the on and off and the status lights go up and down based on whenever we do send the dimming commands up and down, the status lights change. Now, of course, the light bulb at the top of the frame isn't actually being controlled just yet. So how do we do that? Well, we just basically want the light bulb to follow the power toggles and the dimming state of what the dimmer is. Showing you the actual bulb itself, this is that new Lojas that does have five channels for your RGB, cool white, and warm white. 
and you can see we can toggle it back and forth and it does work. Now let's go ahead and make it follow in the dimmer. So first thing you want to do is go to the console on the bulb and you'll want to copy the topic that you're using for the bulb. Then we'll go over to the dimmer and go into the console and rule one has all the items set up for the actual rocker buttons and everything as well as rule three has the red led toggle back and forth so rule two is wide open for us so we're going to stick to using rule two and of course we will leave all the rules and everything so you can copy and paste them down from the description of the video we're going to do rule two on power one state so basically any time the state of the dimmer changes, we're going to send a message over to the bulb to also make its power state follow. By doing a do publish command and we'll paste in that topic and do a power percent value percent end on. So what this will do is anytime the state of the switch changes, we'll send that state over to the bulb itself. And then we'll enable rule two with a rule two space one. And then let's give it a test. We'll push the power button on the dimmer and you can see it turns the light on and off. Pretty simple stuff. It makes them follow and stay in sync. Now, what about dimming? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's send the dimming command based on when the dimmer changes. So go ahead and type in rule two again, and hit enter. And that way we can just copy the rule out and then we'll put another rule inside that same rule bucket and say on dimmer state do publish command at lojas test underscore new slash dimmer and we'll send over the value and do end on and that way anytime the dimming value changes it's going to send over that same value straight over to the bulb so let's give it a test on and off still works and then we'll do the actual dimming so push the down and you can actually see the status lights as well as the bulb changes and follows the dimmer all with the dimming pretty cool stuff and now you can control your smart bulbs straight from a dimmer on the wall and it definitely follows that rule of never removing functionality while adding functionality and this keeps it all the same for everyone and that because they know the dimmer on the wall typically controls the dimming of the light bulbs and you can see the speed of changing the dimming is super quick and no one will ever know the difference that it's actually sending a command from the dimmer over to the light bulb so let's check out something cool we can do with a long press on this bulb so let's first take a look at the rule number one that is in the Martin Jerry dimmer. Currently the way it works is when you push the rocker up, which is switch three, that sends the dimmer plus to increase the dimming of the dimmer. Of course, when you push the bottom rocker, that's switch two, it's gonna send the dimmer minus. And then when we do the state three, which is the long press of each of the up and down rockers, you get the automatic jump points to jump to a low dimming level of 20 and the high dimming level of 100. And that way you can just have those little favorite points and of course the user can easily change those in the rules. So of course you can keep those if you want, but with the new Lojas bulb, we do get the additional warm white to go with the cold white channel. So let's go ahead and change the color temperature of the bulb using the dimmer. Now, of course, you can get creative if you want and go ahead and change colors and things. And also don't forget with the Martin Jerry dimmer, you do get the long press option of the on and off. So if you wanted to toggle that to, say, cycle through some different colors of red and blue and green, etc. That way you could just long press the on or off and send a random type of color or go through a list. Like if you want to do it in a rule or node red, whatever you feel comfortable with. So let's change the color temperature with the rules. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and leave the plus and the minus intact because that's the normal way you'd wanna control your dimmer. But on the long press options, we're actually gonna send over the CT command for the color temperature. We'll send over the minus just like we do with the dimmer minus and we'll send over CT plus. And this will step through the color temperatures. 
Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could, just like we had before, you could change the minus to a number and do a set point to make it jump to a warm and then jump to a cool by doing the long press up and down. Of course, just go on the console, type CT, space, and then a number. I believe that scale is from 153 to 500 on the color temperature. And just find a color temperature that you like, or you can just do the plus and minus like we're going to show here. So let's go ahead and paste that rule in and give it a test. So we'll go ahead and back in the console, we'll paste in the rule, as you can see with the CT minus and the CT plus commands. So one thing you'd would want to change is from the default of set option 32, it defaults to 40. That's going to be a four second long press, which is way too long. So I'll go ahead and set that to five. That way we can just do a shorter long press. And now we'll give it a shot and we'll do the long press down. And now you can see we're sitting the CT minus and the CT plus. And it may be hard to see the actual color on the video due to the LEDs to blow out the camera lens. But you guys, you can see it is getting a little cooler as we hold down the button. Now, of course, probably we'll change it and use the numbers. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. And we'll just go ahead and do the 153 and then the 500 and go both ends of the spectrum. So we'll do a long press up. That puts us all the way to warm. And then a long press down puts us all the way to cool. And of course, very flexible. So you can do whatever needs that you need for your color or lighting in your home with a dimmer. And of course, we can still dim the light up and down using the up and down buttons. So pretty cool stuff. So hopefully you've learned a lot and learned how to control your smart bulbs with your smart dimmers. And of course, you could use whatever dimmer type you like. We just chose our favorite, the Martin Jerry, because it allows us to do the long press actions and can program anything we want to do with those buttons. Thanks again to all the Patreon supporters. I appreciate everything you do and help bring additional projects to the channel. And definitely come join us out in Discord. We have a lot of fun on various times. And if you're not already a subscriber, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and catch us in our next video and our live stream. We do various giveaways at times as well. And y'all take care.